Thank you, it's Michael Bagram. I'm here to discuss the changes to the labor law, how it's going to affect your business, how you would approach it, how you in fact at the end of the day would find some solutions. So let's not argue about the law. Let's not argue about the politics. Let's not argue about the history. We've got the changes and they're going to come and we need to discuss them. The new legislation is important for every single business. It doesn't matter whether it's small, big. So there's a lot more responsibility on the business community to ensure that things go right. And what we need to discuss is you becoming ready for this. It's going to happen. You should be ready. This is an opportunity now because it hasn't been passed to make sure that your business is ready for this. Many of the contracts of employment that we have in place at the moment in business um, keeps rolling over short-term contracts and we're not going to be able to structure that properly in the future. We must actually approach it from a completely different level. Same as we have um, some people in departments earning X, someone earning Y. The legislation is trying to bring in equal work for equal pay with the benefits. In other words, you would have someone who works on a three-month contract who doesn't have pension, medical aid, and whatever other benefits, the housing benefits, etc. You're going to have to relook at that, and restructure that. In terms of outsourcing, again, um, the outsourcing itself, we would have to have a look at it very carefully as to how you're going to structure it, and if in fact you're going to restructure it on the basis of a whole department, it would cure the equal work for equal pay, that wouldn't be a problem, but it would be a problem if in fact you're outsourcing some of the people and not others. In other words, in labor law, the contract is not sacrosanct. This is not business as normal. Labor law has a golden thread that runs through it. What is that golden thread? We all know the golden thread. The golden thread is fairness. Why are you telling me to go? And how are you telling me to go? That's the golden thread that runs through. And what we also understand is that when the deeming provision comes in, we need to work with that deeming provision. You would explain it very much so in the contract, so that every single employee will understand why they're there for the 12 months. They'll understand what it is they ex were expected to do. And when they leave, it wouldn't raise a question as to whether that person is deemed to be a permanent employee or not. You would then go back to the contract and have it explained. We need to go and do a proper audit in everyone's workplace, and all you need to do it. Do a proper audit. Sit down, say, let's have a look at all our contracts of employment. Let's have a look at all our service providers. Let's have a look at how we structure the workplace. I think this is an opportunity. The opportunity is get your house in order.